guys. Happy weekend. I am here with the much anticipated combo of um, video and blog post today. So once you're done watching today's video, you'll want to head over to my blog, the link in the corner, um, and take a look at the, um, the companion blog post. Today on my channel, I'm going to be doing an updated office tour. I haven't done one of these in a while, so I thought I would show you what my filming setup looks like here in the office. And then over on my blog, I'm going to link to all of the resources I use um, for my blog, YouTube, and Instagram, all of the software and assets, all of it completely free. The only thing that I've spent money on for my blog is hosting. And I got a pretty good deal on that for a three year hosting. Um, everything else, all of my logos, font choices, images and all of that um, are all royalty free and so I'm going to send you to links to where you can find all of that great stuff and get started on your social media uh, profiles and platforms completely for free. So today here um, I'm going to be showing you what my office looks like currently and let's take a look. Here we are. Um, you've seen, probably, I will link in the corner the, uh, the video if you've seen it previously of what this looked like when I first set it up. So this desk is from Ikea, um, and it's pretty nice, big and long here, and it um, has like the set of drawers on the side, so that's where I keep the top drawers, all my planner stuff, well, both of them are, most of that is planner stuff and filming stuff, um, and then my computer's down underneath, um, that's just a ream of paper that doesn't have room to go anywhere else. I'm going to be printing out all of my 2020 planner stuff, but I have not gotten started yet. So things have moved around since I first moved onto this desk. Um, basically, the way I have it set up, I've got on this side is sort of my inbox tray, and then my sewing machine is here under the cover. Um, I have not sewn anything for probably a year now. So I have it covered up here so it doesn't get dusty, but I also, like, I have it out so that, like, I can use it if I need to. Um, it doesn't take up that much room, just tucked at the back here, but that's where my sewing machine is. Then, uh, in the middle of the desk is my computer monitor, mouse, keyboard, um, and, you know, speakers, I guess. And so then, let's see, up here are pens. So everything is accessible, um, and my little pen organizer here. Then in the back, let me see if you can see back here it's clipped onto the desk, this like boom mount for my Blue Yeti microphone. So I can move this around and if I'm doing like VO for a video or for my podcast, I can have it right here in front of me while I'm using Audacity or while I'm filming a video, I can have it down here next to where I'm filming. So this is the section that I use for filming. It's also just sort of my desktop space for doing a lot of you know, paper craft or whatever. Um, but it's where I'm filming specifically because up here on the shelf, I'll show you again, these shelves are also from Ikea. It's one of those like Calyx, whatever. Uh, isn't that what it's called? The, you know, the cubby ones. Um, this is mounted up on the wall. And so it works really well. I've got like some of these, a storage cube here. And it's just general storage. There's like craft supplies and book pattern books up there. This is supposed to be for current projects, but the definition of current is a little bit, like I don't actually work on them very much, but craft projects in theory, stationery, and then like books, um, some old computer stuff. This is all my nail polish stuff. But then um, up here, I have this little shelf riser. It's marketed as for like, you know, stuff in your, your cabinets or your pantry. You can put like, you know, plates, I guess, or whatever. <laughs> um, but I have it here so that I can have my camera. It's on this little tripod guy and I have it set so that it's just as like a mount and it stays like this. And then the riser keeps this free for the camera and then I can actually use the top half of the bookshelf for storage. So I've got paper, I've got my laminator um, pouches, and then this little box has some other like sticker paper and scrapbook paper. This is my happy planner punch in my corner rounder tucked up there. 
Um, everything else stays down here currently. Um, I've got my laminator just living here and then my paper cutter and punch also just living here generally day to day. Um, these are out of frame. Usually uh, when you see these top down videos, it's just off frame, um, but it's, you know, it just sort of lives there. This is here temporarily until I decide I don't need it and then I'll store it away somewhere because it's all just Christmas paper. That's where I got my dividers from, but it also has some um, t gift tags in there that I need to cut out and use. And then this is just my, my filming space. So anything gets kind of moved around, it ends up looking very messy and then gets cleared and is completely free, ideally, when I'm not filming something. So that's what it looks like. Um, you can see here's where I keep all of my washi tape. For example, uh, my stickers are down here. And my storage, um, this little guy that I did a whole video about uh, with all of my archived um, inserts that lives in here and I just pull it out when I need it. I don't have a really great place to store this guy, my tripod. I'm very glad I have a tripod, but it just sort of ends up sitting next to my desk when I'm not using it because it's kind of limited space in here. I share this office with my husband. You'll notice I'm not turning around because the rest of the room is a bit of a mess. This is the room that gets cleaned the least because really we are the only people that come in here. And so if we're cleaning the house for guests, this room just doesn't get to, get to you know, in time. Uh, I don't think I've shown in a video that I added some fairy lights up here. It just kind of is a nice touch. Uh, this is the view that you'll see in all of my vlogs. So I have, you know, some art and posters up on the wall. You get to see the little fairy lights and this, uh, I got that as a Christmas gift last year from my mother-in-law because she knows I love Harry Potter and it's pretty cool. Um, and then over here, I still have my nail polish collection because um, I just think it looks cool to have up on the wall. And then that's a painting that my brother made for me. Uh, it's a portal, a shell from Portal and Gladys. And then that is pretty much it. So that's the full tour. Uh, I hope you guys found that interesting. Gives you a little bit of context for when you're watching some of my videos. Um, and now go ahead and check out that companion blog post so you can see some of the resources that I use for when I'm actually making my videos and blog posts. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do that. I post videos twice a week on Thursdays and Sundays, so you see, I will see you in the next one on Thursday. It's time already for my January plan with me.